Hey everyone, Henry here with Late to Gaming and um, it's been a while since I posted one of these videos but I really wanted to do this one because I've been waiting for this package for quite some time and I've been really eager to see how everything looks and to share it with you guys. So this came from a French website called Just for Games. I'll post the link in the comments. And this was my first time buying from a French website. So I wasn't sure how things were going to go. I had to even translate the page from French into English um, in my browser to be to even be able to um, really shop and to pay. Be tearing to this thing. And so, yeah, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but things have appeared to have gone well. So let me pop this open and you can kind of see the contents. And then I'm going to move the box out of the way and to pull the games out individually um, and show you what I have. So, a lot of these games are Evercade games, which you may have already seen, but I got a handful of non-Evercade games as well. And all of this was on sale, which was the reason that I sprung for this purchase. So, first up, we have this Deluxe Edition Pacific Drive for the PS5. Um, and I paid $24 for that one. So... Pretty good price uh, compared to what I would have gotten um, North American uh, version for. So pretty pleased with that. Um, picked up this Little Dragons Cafe for Switch. Um, not something I was looking for. Um, but titles like this always kind of catch my eye. And I thought, what the heck? It was $10, so I thought it was worth giving that a shot. Um see what else I can find that's not Evercade. What we got here? Oops. Picked up an Xbox One copy of We Happy Few. I actually think I have a an opened copy of this. Um, but this sealed copy ran me $5. So I thought uh, it's kind of hard to pass that up. This is a game that I really like a lot. So more than happy to pay $5 for a uh, sealed copy of that one. Had to pick a game up out of the floor that I just dropped. Um, kind of sorting through here. So I think I'm going to have to switch to the EverDrive games now. Um, just because there are, um, they're on top of some of the other stuff. So I'm going to move these up. Hopefully I didn't move them out of the frame. And we'll just start pulling Evercade games. So most of these were $14. I think five or six were 19. The cheapest I can typically find them here is around 22. So uh, I think that was a really good deal. So we're starting out with the Renovation Collection 1. Next up, the... Dual game cartridge of Xeno, Crisis, and Tanglewood. Next up is Toplin Arcade 2. Then we've got Data East Collection 1. And I'm I'm really was just hoping to fill in holes in my collection with this order. Bitmap Brothers Collection 1. I started my collection late, and so there are a lot of holes that um, I, a lot of which I could have filled at that, you know, $22 price point, but to be able to get these for $14 was much better than Television Collection 2, Pico Collection 4, um, Galco RK2, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I've never really known how to pronounce that. Um, so yeah, $14, even with shipping, these still um, came in much cheaper. Shipping worked out to a 
dollar sixty eight per game, I think. So still, we're looking at um, you know fifteen sixty eight or whatever under sixteen bucks each for most of these. So I'm very happy with that. So that was Mega Cat Studios Collection One, IRM Arcade One, Pico Arcade One, Intellivision Collection One. Okay, that was Intellivision Collection Two. I had I worried there for a second that I'd bought a duplicate, but I did not. Um, what is this? Interplay Collection One. And a couple more, a couple more to go. Data East. Collection one. Now this was arcade. This one is the console collection one. Pico collection three. And looks like Jellico arcade one. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 16 games. I don't think that's all for the okay if I'm remembering right so for some reason the rest are in this let's just pop it open and see okay yeah for some reason they packed a few more games in this box so I'll show that and then uh, let's finish with a with the Evercade before I pull off that other cartridge or the box so Jellico collection one Sunsoft Collection 2, Interplay Collection 2, and last is the Mega Cat Studios Collection 2. So there we have 20 Evercade cartridges. Um, like I said, ranging from 14 to 19, most were 14 plus shipping. Fairly expensive package, but I was very happy with with the uh, price that I got everything from. And then last, we have the Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life Limited Edition for Xbox Series X. Again, not something I was shopping for, not something I would have normally ever bought. I've never played Story of Seasons. I doubt that I ever will. But I like to pick up interesting things. And for $16, I thought that was a fairly interesting pickup. Um, I honestly don't see a ton of Series X stuff. Most people seem to collect Switch or PS4, PS5. So to get a um, limited edition Series X game sealed for a such a good price, I didn't want to pass that up. So I normally don't get into pricing on my videos, but in this case, I thought I should. Um, I've kind of given you an idea of how much everything costs. So altogether, the um, games came to $360, $39 for shipping. So $399 for 24 games um, worked out to, like I said, a dollar. I'm pretty sure it was $1.68 or somewhere in that area for the shipping per game. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. So again, this was just for games um, website based out of France. Um, it, it arrived fairly quickly and it took a little bit of time to get through customs and everything, but not a terribly long wait considering everything was uh, is in good condition. I saw one of the Evercade carts. The seal was torn, but that's not an issue for me because I do intend to open the Evercade cartridges and actually play those. Um, all the other four games are appear to be in excellent condition. No issues with the seal. Pacific Drive does, does have some sticker residue because there was this weird there was this printout where I guess the packing slip that came with it that had this and then come loose and was um I kind of stuck to that one, so that's kind of a bummer, but I think I can get that off without any real issue. So all in all, I'm very happy. I've confirmed that yes, that's a reputable uh, website. I will not hesitate to order from them again in the past if they are having another sale. Um, of course, you know, the 
the uh, you know Pacific Drive, like I said, it's the well, I guess all of them have the, the Peggy rating rather than the um, you know the rating that you for North America. Not a big deal to me. Um, I'm sure it would be that some others. It certainly does affect can affect the value. Um, typically, I find those are typically less expensive unless it's games that come from. Um, a limited edition company like uh, Super Rare Games or someone like that. But for the price I paid for these, I am not at all concerned about that. So, um, yeah, I think that does it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe I will try to do more of these um, in the near future. I certainly have received several more packages since my last video and just did not film the package opening. Um, if there's interest in if there's, if there's interest in this one, then maybe I'll start trying to film more of those. Um, but thank you for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.